Welcome back to my channel guys. We are doing a makeup routine, an updated makeup routine. It has been a very hot minute since I've done one of these and I did poll you guys a few weeks ago and you asked for it and then I ended up doing the drive through video last week and yeah, other stuff had just come up which was, I guess, easier for me to film. Anyway, if you are new here, please subscribe. If you are watching and you've never subscribed, please subscribe. If you are an OG subscriber, thank you for coming back. Like the video, leave me a comment. I will get back to you. We are starting with our primer. Now, everything that I show you in this video will be linked in the notes. I'm also going to be answering questions throughout. I've put up a question box on my Instagram. People are asking me questions as we go. And yeah, let's get right into it. Just so you know, I have done all of my skincare already. That also includes SPF. And we are starting with the first product, which is the Bobbi Brown Face Base. Now, I am actually running out of this, <laughs> which makes me sad because this is one of my favorite products. I also need to let you guys know that I did actually recommend the Eye Base, which I've got in here too. I'll just show you that. I'm trying so hard not to forget anything <laughs> in this video because whenever I film my routines, I always forget something. So that's the Eye Base and it comes in like a smaller size container, you can see the difference there. Having used both for a significant period of time, this one is definitely more nourishing and the girl at Mecca said to me, it's better for your under eyes, blah, blah, blah. So if I'm doing special occasions, say like a night out or a special event, I will use this under my eye. Aside from that, I don't use it. I just pop this on and this works as a primer. You can even use this as your moisturizer if you want, but I do it like this. Also, I keep looking into the thing. I'm so sorry. I'm going to have to get like a mirror so I can see what the fuck I'm doing. And I think we can answer some questions while we go. And the first question is a really cute one. It is, what are your favorite and least favorite things about Mr. Frank? And where do I start? My favorite thing about him would have to be how loving and cuddly he is. Dash hounds love their owners like so like so 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 much and I can't even explain it but the last couple of days I've had like really bad PMS and I've just been feeling a bit like ugh and he has not left my side. At the moment he's on the couch but usually he just will like stay to me like literally clings to me and it's really cute because I feel loved. So that's my favorite thing. My least favorite thing would have to be the fact that he won't live forever. Like that really really hurts my feelings when I think about it. But I try not to dwell on that because I just want to stay in the moment and I just want to stay present. And yeah, that's the only thing. If I had superpowers, I would make dogs live forever. <laughs> or dogs live to the same age as their owners because it makes me, yeah, upset. Anyway, next step is my brows. And yes, I do do my makeup very 2016 vibe. So I used to watch a lot of YouTubers then and this is how I would do my makeup then and I still do it the same now. Is it giving millennial? Yes. <laughs> so I'm just gonna use my bronzer as a mirror. And what I do is I just very lightly, so what I'm doing down here, I just underline all my gaps. As you guys can see, I've got very hairy eyebrows. Thanks, Dad. And I don't need to fill this in too much at all. Just all the white spaces. I will brush this out too, and then maybe like a tiny bit there. Repeat the same step for the other brow. Doesn't matter if it gets all over the place because you can clean it up with your concealer <laughs> when you're done. Just fill these in. I don't necessarily go too heavy on the top just because I don't want like really harsh like texture eyebrows. I used to do my brows like that when I was like 15, 16, but we've come a long way. I then just brush that through and that's good enough for me. So we leave the brows after that. And then, oh, did I say what that was? It was the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in the shade Medium Brown. We're then going in with a Morphe brush. It is the R44 brush. It has a little spoolie on one side and then an angle on the other side. And we're grabbing the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is the shade Light Medium 29N. And so what I then do is just carve out the under area of my brow. And so I will come up close to the camera just so you can see what I'm doing. But I just go under like this. By the way, if you're wondering what are you getting ready for, <laughs> I'm getting ready for uh, a brand deal because I need to film a reel and some stories today. And so I just wanna have some cute makeup for that. And so I just like bring that down and then literally grabbing my finger, just go like this. <laughs> yes, we do use our hand here. And then I just repeat that same step on the other side. Now I did make a little bit of a mistake here, but as I said before, you just clean it up with the concealer. No one will ever know, very easy. And then I just drag that kind of down my eyelid too. And I just then blend it out with my finger. Perfect, looking very, very cute. 
All of my brushes are pretty much Morphe. Oh no, some are Morphe, some are Zoeva. I'll tell you as we go. <laughs> Next step is foundation. And I love this foundation so much. Estee Lauder Sheer Double Wear. If you know, you know. This comes out so nice. In natural light, it captures beautifully. Like I always get compliments on my foundation, always. Captures beautifully on camera, in a ring light, in natural light. I cannot fault it. I am running out of this, but it's okay because I feel like I'm starting to fade as well. <laughs> so what I generally do with this is I pour a little bit onto my cheek on both. Be careful with it because it does squirt out. That's the one thing I fucking hate about it. Sometimes I've like squirted it and then it's gone everywhere. Not slay Estee Lauder, but I still love you and I still love this product. And so what I then do is with my, oh my God, this was, this is Morphe too. What does this, V100. It's a foundation brush. <laughs> I'm not a beauty influencer guys, all right? <laughs> V100 foundation brush. And what I do is I just like kind of press that into my skin doing all these areas first. I'll show you what we do on top of the eyebrows in a second. Repeating over here. And I'll just show you when my face is fully done how stunning this foundation is. It's so beautiful. I reckon we get another question as well. I washed my hair too because I wanted fresh hair for the product, or not the product, for the brand deal. Got a little bit of a pimple situation here, which I don't know if you can see on camera, probably. We can pick that later. <laughs> And for the top of my brows, what I do is, again, grabbing that brush that we just had, I just like take whatever's left over on top of the foundation and I kind of just carve out the, the brow situation on top. That's just because I don't want to get that foundation brush anywhere near my eyebrow. I hate doing my brows and then getting foundation in it. it makes me very upset. <laughs> if I can avoid it, I will. My builder's texting me like updates. I haven't even gone past the property. And I'm so sorry about that guys, because I will give you updates soon, but just between my birthday and everything else going on, also the fact I'm going to Adelaide on Saturday has just really kind of thrown my routine. And the one time I thought I would have time to go past the house, I didn't have the keys on me. Anyway, we will bring updates shortly back to the channel. So I just keep kind of pressing this in. I don't like beauty blenders. That's why you won't see one in this video. There's something about the texture on my skin that gives me, ugh the ick. So we won't be doing that. Maybe we can answer another question. Ah, uh, this one is so cute. <laughs> How have the dates been going? Love you Adele. And then a little love heart and affair. The dates have been going so good. You will see our sixth date in the weekly vlog. So if you want to watch that, you can go and watch the vlog or the vlog will come out on Sunday. But I mean, I don't vlog on the date, but you see me like going there and you see me when I get home. And yeah, it was really good. Things are going well and I'm just enjoying it. I'm trying not to think too far ahead. I'm trying to just stay in the moment. Oh, look at me just going to the next step. Taking that same concealer, I'm using just the applicator and I'm putting concealer under my eye in the corner and on the outer corner and then just a little bit there, a little bit there and a little bit there. And then please don't come for me. I use my fingers. I just got a flashback to that time I filmed <laughs> the last video and I got concealer all in my eyelid and on my eyelashes. We're not having that today. And honestly, like I said before, I don't like beauty blenders, but I feel like the finger does the trick. All right. Probably put a bit too much onto this one. Some people say, and it is true if I'm like going like out, if it's a big event or if it's like a heavier kind of day for my makeup, I will let the concealer sit for like a second longer, like maybe like 30 seconds longer, because then it dries a little bit on the skin and gives you a better coverage. And so I'll do that. But if it's just everyday makeup, if I'm just like filming like this, I don't go too extreme because like I still want to look like myself. I think I only really go heavy, heavy, heavy on those special occasions. I think I will do my makeup a little bit extra for the Basically Besties tour as well because we're going to be on stage. And I don't know if it's being filmed or live streamed, but I'm very excited for that. Now, I've obviously got <laughs> fucking makeup on my hands, so I'm going to quickly wash it. And you can just see here how nice my skin is looking. It's that foundation. All right, next is the fun part. I've got a little powder puff. This is from Amazon. Link it in the comments, in the notes. And then we've got the Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know if I love this anymore. It's a bit yellow. I think I want one that's more neutral. But anyway, what I do is tap, tap, tap. So we get it in the lid just like this. And then I grab my little puff. I just change this probably like 
I don't know, every week. I probably could change it more. If you guys knew the way I have the freaking camera right now, you would die because it's literally leaning on a pile of shit. I'll show you at the end. But what I do is I do this section first. So I just go down my nose like that. I did copy Alex Earl because this is how she does her makeup and her makeup looks fucking stunning. And since I have been doing it like this, I've been getting lots of compliments. So I just go under my eye first to set that concealer. And then we repeat the step on the other side. I'll see if I can do it just on here. Here we go. And take that up. And then I'll show you what I do with the rest of my face. I should be answering a question right now, but I feel like I can't concentrate on the things at once. And so kind of just do that for underneath this part of my face. I don't tend to put a whole lot here because we will put some bronzer there. I also don't use any cream products either. I'm a huge fan of powder. As I said, it's giving 2016 YouTuber era. And so I tend to set underneath here, here. Also do like my chin because that area goes a bit oily. Also do above my mouth. And then I do my eyelids too. So all over, Just kind of setting that because remember we put concealer there and I don't want it to go like streaky or kind of move. And then the same thing for the top of my head. So again, I don't really have an oily T-zone. I feel like my skin is very much like average. It's not oily, it's not dry, unless we go into winter, which I'm scared. I'm scared I'll get dermatitis again, fucking hell. But I feel like I just set this like this and I don't do a super heavy layer, just enough that it won't like go anywhere and it'll stay there all day. And so, oh, I didn't actually do that very bad at all. So now we're looking very odd. No judgment, please. We're then going to go in with, I'm pretty sure this is a Real Techniques brush. It is, but it's bloody coming off like so. Anyway, grabbing my bronzer, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. It is number two. And look at this, I've hit the pan. I do love it. And so what I do with this is I put this as a bronzer, but I use it as a contour. Just here. Don't want to go too far down my face. Same on this side. I then just like swoosh it over my eyelids. I don't do any eyeshadow either, just for like everyday makeup. Even if I was recording in the studio, I would do the exact same makeup that I'm doing right now. And so I also take it above my hairline, just here and into my temples, even though I just washed my fucking hair, but that's okay. We're just gonna do this. Maybe we can also answer a question while we're doing this. I didn't think it was gonna be so hard. <laughs> I love this question. What was your favorite TV show when you were a teen? And it was Gossip Girl. XOXO Gossip Girl. I used to love it so, so much. And I remember, it was what was it? It was Gossip Girl and it was the OC. That was like the era that I grew up in. And oh my God, I remember when I got my wisdom teeth out, I was so unwell. I rewatched Gossip Girl and like the OC over and over and over again and it takes me back. <laughs> So I also just run the bronzer up my nose to kind of like contour that. And I just run it along the inside of where I just put the powder, if that makes any sense at all. And then just kind of taking that down. And at this point I grab my Morphe R2 brush, which is like a big puffy one. And I just wipe away that so that it's not like leaving any like marks on my face. And I just kind of go over where I just put that bronzer. I do bronze like under here as well. Makes you have a jizzled jawline. G a jizzled jawline, that's what I just said. A chiseled jawline. Ah, <laughs> uh, fucking hell, I'm unwell. I wonder what the thumbnail for this video will be. Sam, I don't know what I'm doing with that yet. All right, we're going on to blush and we're gonna answer another question. Oh, I love this one. Your must have products, PS, I love you. I love you too. Now, my must have products so far out of what I used would have to be the Bobbi Brown face base. I think if I could pick just one product from my entire makeup routine, it would be the primer because it feels so good on my skin and it just makes my makeup last so beautifully. Aside from that, I'm gonna say it would be my lip gloss because I love having something on my lips and I'll get to that when we get to the lip gloss. But on to blush, we're using the Ambient Lighting Blush. It is from Hourglass. And it is the color Sublime Flush. This is so stunning. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Also, I know these products are expensive. I've got to add that as well. I would love to do another video that's like a full face of makeup from say Chemist Warehouse. 
If you want to see that, let me know because I reckon I could pull it off. And I think my belief is that like brushes and like your base are more important. So like skincare, primer, a good SPF and like good tools. I feel like you can like make products go the way that you want. And so I would love to do that as another video. But I just wanted you guys to have this one because I did promise it a while ago. So I kind of just like smile to myself. <laughs> <laughs> and do this. I feel like the last makeup video I did, I was going to Billie Eilish. I just thought of that. Put a tiny bit there, just a tiny bit. Don't mind the sun kiss look. All right. We have another question. When you go out with your friends or people, do you ever feel weird to vlog? And I would never feel weird vlogging, like ever. I, I don't have any self-conscious behavior around that. Like I'm so comfortable in front of the camera now. I'm so comfortable in public with my camera. However, like things like my birthday, we went out for dinner that night. I didn't vlog at all because everyone was chatting and I was really enjoying the moment. Things like the dates I go on, I don't really vlog on them because I just think that's probably a bit inappropriate for the guy. <laughs> and sometimes when I go see my friends, I don't vlog either because like we're in the moment. And sometimes I don't see my friends for like weeks at a time. So when I see them, I want to give them my undivided attention. What I can compare it to is like, if you go to see your friends, are you sitting there on your phone the whole time? No, like you're in the moment, you're chatting, you're talking. And so I try to show obviously as much as I can, but there are obviously a lot of things that you guys don't see as well. And so next product is highlighter. And I love this highlighter. It is the Becca Times Smashbox Shimmering Skin Perfecta. It is champagne pop or sea pop. That's what they called it. And then I just use my, what is this? This is Zoeva Luxe Highlight Brush. It is 165, I think. Sorry, it's like all washed off. And so highlighter will go just here on the high points of my face, put it there. I also take it like up my nose as well on top of my lip, the Cupid's bow. And then I grab another brush, which is, where's this one from? Antonym, what the fuck, I don't even know. Can we see it? Yep. And so I grab a little bit on there and I put it in the inner corner. And I also put it on my brow bone, just like that. Which then reminds me to set your brows. And so to set my brows, we use the clear brow gel from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I definitely need another mirror the next time that I do this, just so I can like keep it there. Or maybe I put the camera in a different spot. And so I usually will just brush that through. I don't brush my brows down or up. This holds them very fucking well. So I don't feel like you need to do that. Also, the rest of my face is like done, right? So I don't want to have eyebrow gel all over the fucking place. I also don't set it before I like powder my face because I don't want to get powder in my eyebrows. And so at this point, my base stuff is really done. And what I do is I just spray myself with the Urban Decay All Nighter. It's giving 2016 again, like I said, and spray all over. While we let that chill, why don't we answer some questions? <laughs> oh, when can we see your date? Guys, come on. We are, I still think very early days. Also, I told him there will be no soft launch. I will just be hard launching at our wedding. And we had, a, we had a laugh about it. It was a joke. I think in good time, we'll see. I mean, I'm not sure where it will go, but I'll obviously keep you guys in the loop. I said on my podcast this week and that episode will come out on Sunday, like even if nothing happens, like it doesn't go anywhere and it just ends for whatever reason. Like I'm so happy because it's been a really nice positive dating experience. And so I don't know if you'll see him ever or maybe you will one day, but we will just have to wait and see. I love this question and I feel like I can answer it because I have tried many activewear brands. But this person says, I'm needing new activewear. What are your top three favorite brands? You can trust me. Hands down, Ellie 11. I love them so much. Yes, I work with them on an ongoing basis, but I'm not exclusive with them. So I genuinely work with them because I fucking love them. Secondly, Crop Shop Boutique. My only complaint with them though, is that their bras are very booby and not very supportive. And so if you are bigger busted, I would say pick your bra carefully. Some of the bras there are more supportive than others, but I cannot fault the rest of their stuff. Their colors, their quality, the fact that like I have active wear in there that has lasted so long. I wear my active wear to fucking death and hands on heart can say that they make like high quality, beautiful active wear. And then my third would probably be Ect Apparel. I did work with them. I haven't worked with them since maybe like November. 
but I still will wear their stuff. Like you guys probably saw me in the vlog in like that green matching set that was from there. I have leggings from there still. I have like gym sets from there still. And I think they're actually quite affordable compared to some other activewear brands. I will say I got sent some Lorna Jane stuff and I haven't ever worn Lorna Jane. Haven't even worn what I got sent, but I will wear it tomorrow and I'll give you my review in the weekly vlog. All right, what's next? What's next? What's next? It is, please don't have a heart attack. It is grabbing an eyelash curler and it is curling your eyelashes. And so we're going to do perfect. So we're going to do the left one first. I've also changed mascaras since the last time I did this, which I didn't think I would ever change because I still love the old one. So now I've got two that I love, but curl the lashes. And so the mascara that we're using is the Pillow Talk Push Up Lashes. It's from Charlotte Tilbury. I heard many bad things about this mascara when I got it in my beauty loop box to the point where I was like, I'm not even going to fucking use it. And then I tried it and I was like, hang on a minute. It's actually so good. <laughs> People say that the transfer is bad, that it like droops on your face like throughout the day and that it's really hard to take off. I don't have any of those issues. It has never ever done that to me. And I have been using that sample for a little while. And then my one of my best friends, Francis, got me this for my birthday, like the full size one. And I just love it. I love the brush. I feel like because it's so like plastic and like it just really gets every single layer. I'm trying to gonna try and get really close to my face. Sorry, I know that's not super flattering, but you guys will just have to deal with me. Like, look at that. Come on. I still love my Hourglass Extreme Lash. I've still got that. It's not run out yet, but I'm jumping on the Charlotte, Chil uh, Charlotte Chilbury. Why can't I speak today? This video is unhinged. In my defense, everybody, I am PMSing and I am on the verge of tears at any moment, but we're not gonna cry today. Maybe we will later. We're not crying before we film the content. We're not doing that. Okay. I also like to do this before this so that doesn't make that leak. I don't know if that is a thing, but I feel like it does something. All right, other eye. Oh my God, I just got the eyelid. Be careful with these things. All right, watch your eyeballs. <laughs> how, how long has this video gone for? Oh, all right, we're nearly done guys. We're nearly done, hang in there. I like to just really get in there, squeeze it a little bit, give it a few pumps, and then we do the exact same thing. So really like this brush. I don't know if you can see it clearly. How good is that? Just love it, I'm a fan. Yesterday I got mascara all over my eyelids, so I'm trying hard not to do that. Through the application, not throughout the day, just to reiterate. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what all the slander was about this mascara at the start. So many people said that the transfer was horrendous, but my advice would be, if you are interested after watching this video, get a sample and try the sample first. This is the sample size. I don't know if they sell the samples, but that's like used now. And then after this, we've just got our lips and then we're done. Honestly, I would love to try all some cream products, but I just feel like it's double the amount of work. Like you have to set the cream products with the powder as well. And I do to a degree like dewy makeup, but I also like to know my makeup won't go anywhere. So that's why my makeup routine is like this. <laughs> Let's see if there's a question while we do our lip ears. Next question is, do you change your makeup routine for summer versus winter? And I definitely don't, but I noticed that my skin gets fucked during winter. So I do have to be a little bit more careful, especially like last summer or last winter, I had really bad dermatitis around my mouth and my eyes and it was just not the vibe, okay? And so <laughs> I feel like prepping into winter this year, I might have to make sure I have some really hydrating products in there for my skincare, which it generally is anyway. And I feel like my skin's improved massively since I started using the Dennis Gross wipes. But yeah, it was not a vibe. Now, lip liner. I am back on the lip liner train as well. So my lip liner of choice is Backseat Love Morphe. This one here. And it's so beautiful. I feel like I need to sharpen it though. Wait. Adele, it should have been more prepared. We're just going to give it a quick little sharpen and... I will just leave that in the sink and then I'll grab it out before I get out of the bathroom. But I just line around the outside of my lips and I feel like this lip liner is a perfect nude for my skin tone anyway. Morphe has really beautiful lip liners. And then I kind of just like, like so. I could potentially leave my makeup like this and it would still look cute. But I, you guys know, I love my gloss. And so my Holy Grail gloss is the Hourglass Unreal. It's a child color. 
weird name for a fucking lip gloss, but anyway, <laughs> it fell onto the bath. It should be all right. And so I just popped that on as well. Just like this. And my makeup is done. But what we're going to do is answer questions while I do my hair. I feel like that's fair. Oh, hey, that rhymed. Because I've got a couple more questions that I want to answer. So we'll let that heat up. Oh, just quickly. My blush brush was a Zoeva cream cheek. Mainly Zoeva and Morphe, guys. These are from Amazon. I just wash them in the wash in a bra bag. And they go, into, go down a treat. They still survive, is my mum home? I'm home by myself at the minute, which works out good. I did just wash my hair, but what we're going to do is answer questions and straighten it. So my straightener is just a GHD. It's very old, but I love her. She's still kicking. Next question is, would you ever consider being a vegetarian? And my answer to that is no. And I know that might upset some people, especially if you are vegan or if you're a vegetarian, but I really enjoy eating all types of food. And as someone who has had a history with like disordered eating and things like that, I wouldn't want to cut out a food group unless it was for my health. And unless if something was making me sick and I had to cut it out, fair enough, right? But I would say even on that, like, because Carla is sometimes vegetarian, sometimes vegan, we don't label Carla. She doesn't want to label herself. Sometimes we don't eat many meat products anyway, but... I do enjoy chicken, I do enjoy meat, and unfortunately, well not unfortunately, that's my choice, and that's why I don't think I would consider it. Also, I do have issues with my iron and things like that, and so obviously there's an element there where I do try to eat some more meat, like red meat and things like that. I know you can get iron from like non-animal products, but yeah, it's just not on the radar for me. And then we've got another question, what kind of music do you listen to? And it really depends on my mood. I love, like at the gym, I love, well, I love the gym music. I never wear headphones. I don't know if you guys realize that, but they have like really heavy, like techno, almost like, what's it called? Not house, minimal. That's what it's called, minimal. Back in the day when I was a little party gal in my early 20s, I would always go to some nightclubs here in Melbourne, specifically one called Tramp Jungle and one called TFU. And so if you look up TFU or like Tramp Jungle on SoundCloud, I'm really showing my age here, you'll be able to see what kind of music I love at the gym. <laughs> my gym usually has good playlists anyway. And then if I'm in the car and it's a short trip, I'll just have the fucking radio on. Like I don't mind listening to the radio at all. They usually play like the current bangers anyway. And then aside from that, sometimes I put on like a high vibe playlist on my Spotify or I'll play some Taylor Swift, or I'll play some Harry Styles, or I'll play The Weeknd. Like, it just depends what mood I'm in. And yeah, I would say that like the gym is probably the most important because if the music's off at the gym, it's a bad workout. But I cannot train with headphones for the life of me. I don't know what it is, but I feel like if I've got headphones in, I can't concentrate on the exercise and I can't count my reps. It's very odd, I'm not sure. Something must be going on there. <laughs> I think it's a variety. Other than that, I do listen to podcasts as well. And yeah, I'm not I'm not phased by the radio. Eyebrow tutorial, please. Yours are always so perfect. Well, if you watch this video, you would have seen that. We have one layer to go of the hair. Should I get dressed on here? Do you want to see my outfit for the day? Maybe I can do that as well. And all right, we have three more questions and they're all good ones, okay? So I think my mummy's home. Next question is, what is your dream collab, person or product? And I think it's no secret. It would have to be Maccas. And I see them doing ads with other content creators all the time. And I'm like, why not me? Like, they know I love them. But I guess, I don't know. We haven't had, like, direct contact with Maccas. By we, I mean my manager and I. And so she's always trying. I'm always trying. I comment on all their stuff. I always, like, go there. <laughs> I love them so much. I just want them to love me back. I would say Mac is, is probably up there for me right now. I also have some very exciting news coming on Tuesday next week. So stay tuned for that. And then we have another question, which is, are you excited for the Basically Besties tour? And I'm so excited, but I'm also really nervous. It's the nerves are hitting me. So I fly to Adelaide on Saturday. I'll take you guys along. I don't know if I'll do like a day in the life on that day. I think I might do a day in the life for the Melbourne show so I can show you behind the scenes. But yeah, I'm really, really stressed about it in the sense that like, 
what if I like forget what to say or what if I get confused or but I think it'll be fine I've recorded 50 episodes of my own podcast I'm sure I can do another two live hi mum are you there mum show us your nails did you just call yourself a boring bitch as in yeah but not in a bad way oh cute show the camera no 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 here here oh. yeah yeah nice thank you and I've got my Eyebrows threaded too, and I'm not threaded, waxed, and my my oh my god, look what she did there! Burnt you? I don't know. Maybe I've had a reaction. Looks like reaction, not burn. Anyway, <laughs> what do you reckon? How did she do my eyebrows? Yeah, cute. Do but you've had your eyebrows tattooed, so yeah, I have. You can't mess you can't them mess up. that up. It's like a it's like a color in, but the opposite. Yeah, love them. All right, thank All you. All right, <laughs> all right, guys. I think we'll pick the outfit and then we'll get to the last few questions. I feel like my hair's straight. Don't you think? I feel like it's fine. Hang on. I have to shut the door because mum is in the kitchen cooking. And so the vibe today is casual, guys. I'm filming just like head up for this brand deal. So I just need to look cute from like boobs up. I'm going to pop in these earrings. I've got one more question that I'm going to answer. These ones are from Jazz Handmade. And thank you guys as well if you've ever used my Jazz Handmade code because I love you. It means a lot to me. But I've also got trackies on. Like if I show you, I've got trackies on because I'm feeling a little bit bloated and sore and I just don't want to have anything like really tight and restricting on. But the last question is actually two parts. So the question is, how do you commit to short hair? Mine always grows out and I'm scared to cut it again. The second part, but short hair always looks so much better. And personally, I love having short hair. I cut my hair because it was so fucking annoying having it be long and I just couldn't be bothered anymore, especially at the gym and stuff. I was gonna cut my hair that time I went to the hairdressers on my birthday. However, I have the Basically Besties tour coming up and I thought, let's just leave it because I'm actually vibing this length. Right now is like the perfect length. So if I can keep it at this length moving forward, even when I go to Europe and stuff, I think I want it at this length. And so I'm probably gonna keep it at this length. But for me, I just love short hair and I'm not attached to my hair. And sometimes I think like I could probably shave my head and still be okay. Cause that would mean no, no drying, no fucking washing it. I mean, I would still have to wash my hair probably, but I'm not physically attached to it. And I used to be like when I had red hair, some of you may have followed me then, but I could not like let anyone touch my hair or cut my hair because I was so attached to it. It was a big part of my identity and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's totally normal and human and valid. But for me now, I'm just like, it was so fucking annoying and that's why I cut it. And this is not the shortest it's been. Like if you go back to some older content of mine, it was like right under my jawline. So I really like it at this length. I think it's kind of cute. But guys, we are going to wrap the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions about the products or things like that, leave them below. I will get back to you. If you like this video, please like it. Please comment. Please subscribe. Leave me your favorite emoji. It doesn't have to be an essay. I love reading them and I will get back to you. And it also helps my video in the algorithm and helps me grow this community, which I love so much. But have a fantastic weekend. I know it's the Easter weekend too coming up. So happy long weekend if you don't celebrate or happy Easter if you do celebrate. And I will see you guys next in the weekly vlog. I love you so much. Have a great one. Bye.